rolling, B roll is rolling, Mike's rolling. You're rolling. What's going on, Fader Culture? It's Sergio Baron, and we're back again with another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna run y'all down my step by step process on doing a men skin fade. And I'm also gonna give y'all some tips on styling towards the end. So stay tuned for the whole video and uh, let's get started. All right guys, so to start this tutorial, I'm gonna wet his hair all on top, just so that it can make it easier to section out the top from the sides. And uh, this is just so that I can uh, move the top length out of the way and just focus on the fading part first. And uh, I'll come back and trim his hair a little bit since we're not gonna do too much trimming on top. Then here, I'm gonna look for where I am gonna set down my first guideline. So I'll look for that temple peak starting point and since it is gonna be a like a mid drop fade, I'm gonna drop the guideline as I reach the back of his head. And then I'm gonna just make sure that I meet at the same starting point, but on the opposite side of his head. Make sure you take your time with this first guideline since this guideline is gonna basically be your foundation of your haircut. So the rest of our guidelines are gonna be running parallel to, to this guideline here. Then next, I'm gonna just come back and open the lever all the way on the clipper. And I'm gonna come up about a finger in length to set down our second guideline. And all we're gonna do is follow the prior guideline that we set down. So we're just gonna make sure it runs parallel to that one. And uh, just make sure it's as even as possible throughout the whole haircut. So once you have set down that guideline, next we're gonna come in with the number one guard, still keeping that lever open all the way. And we're gonna come up about another finger in length up high. And the exact same as before, we're gonna make sure it just runs parallel to the prior guidelines that we set. And just so y'all know guys, I am using the Circer Cordless Clipper, modified with the Babilis FX blade, taper blade on it. I will leave, uh, links in the description to the clipper and the blade that I adjusted it with as well. And so next I'm gonna grab the number two guard still with that lever open and we're not gonna so much focus on leaving a guideline but as you see here I'm gonna scoop out kind of trying to shape out the head of his or his uh, the shape of his head I should say. So um, yeah just picture his haircut being a square shape so we're exiting out with the clipper as we reach that curvature of his head. So basically all we're doing here is trying to connect the side length to the top length of his hair. So next I'm gonna grab the three guard still with that lever open and we're gonna continue that same process coming up a tad bit higher, still trying to connect that side length to the top length of his hair. And again guys, make sure you're scooping out and you're not digging in too much to the top length of his hair. We don't want to take off too much hair on top. So next as you see here, for whatever is left to connect, we're going to use our clipper over comb technique. And with the comb, all you're going to do is scoop in and then shape out shape out his head into that square shape like I, that we were talking about before and then whatever the whatever the comb grabs we're just gonna trim away with the clipper and we're gonna continue this throughout his whole head until we have a, a nice transition from the side length to the top length of his hair So as you see here, once we're done, we're left with these three guidelines that we need blending. We'll start by removing that uppermost guideline and work our way down. For that one, I'm gonna use that one and a half clip and I'm gonna have the lever positioned to that third quarter position. And the third quarter position is basically in between halfway and all the way open. And we're just gonna proceed with trying to blend out that top guideline, uh, finessing the clipper in any way that you need to until we get it blended out. For me, I like to kind of use more of the corners of the clipper as it kind of helps me blend these guidelines in a more detailed manner. 
but um yeah so we're just gonna just work at that top guideline until we get it nicely blended out So after that's blended out, I'm going to grab on that half clip and I'm going to leave that lever still to that third quarter position and we're going to focus on blending out the middle guideline next. And uh, it's important to note that this guard won't completely take out this middle guideline completely, but uh, as long as we're just focused on softening it up a little bit, we're just going to focus on blending out just the initial start of this guideline. So try not to go too high and chase the guideline higher and higher because you will end up taking the fade up too high. And um, so yeah, so just to prevent that, we're just gonna focus on just blending exactly where the initial start of that guideline is, as you see here. And if you find yourself getting a little overwhelmed with blending these guidelines out, you can just break it down into smaller sections and just work on work at small sections at a time. So as you see here, the left side of his head, I broke it down into three sections, and I'll start with just focus focusing on blending out that small section and then once I feel it's blended out I'll move on to the middle section and then proceed with the last section as well so as you see here I didn't completely take out that middle guideline so like I said I'm gonna come in with the one guard now still keeping that lever on that third quarter position and um, I'm gonna just work at work on small sections at a time until we um, blend it out completely. And if you feel like that lever position ain't doing the job, then feel free to close it or open it here and there um, throughout the blending process to achieve that blend completely. Cause I mean, different hair textures or different types of hair will, um, will differ with whatever lever positions you will need but for the most part the lever open to that third quarter position seems to always be a good starting point for me but yeah guys it's important to kind of really get comfortable with that lever play because that lever play is um is really essential when it comes to blending out these guidelines So next we'll move on to taking out the last guideline. For that one, I will have three lever positions to take it out. It'll be the lever closed and then open it halfway and then all the way to take it out completely. I'm gonna break down the sides of his head into smaller sections just so that it don't get overwhelming. So right here you see it's with the lever closed and I'm just working on the front section of his head. And then I'm gonna open the lever halfway, come up a tad bit higher to continue blending that guideline. And then I'll just open the lever all the way to finish blending it out completely. So once you're done, you see I'll move forward to the middle section of his side of his head. And again, starting with that lever closed all the way, we're just gonna blend the initial start of that guideline. And then uh, I'll open the lever halfway again continue blending and then we're just going to open the lever all the way to finish taking out that guideline completely and we're just going to repeat that process until we reach the opposite side of his head next we're moving on to the last section of the right side of his head using the exact same steps starting with the lever closed then lever open midway and then lever open all the way to finish taking out that guideline completely So as you see here next, I'm gonna break down the back section into three smaller sections as well, and just repeat the exact same process until we blend out the whole back completely. You don't have to be using the smaller sections. You could just go ahead and uh, just try to blend out the whole backside as well. Um, but I mean, it's just for those haircuts that sometimes feel like they just take too long or um, just feel like it's 
not blending fast enough or for whatever reason it's just so that you don't get overwhelmed through the process it's just a good idea to break it down into smaller sections just to avoid that overwhelming feeling So here just moving forward to that last section of his head still breaking it down into three smaller sections and just repeating the exact same process that we've been doing lever closed lever halfway open and then lever open all the way to take out that guideline and also guys if y'all are enjoying our content that we are dropping please give these videos a thumbs up and leave us some feedback down in the comments section as that does help out this channel tremendously and it encourages us as, as well to put out more videos so also feel free to leave us down in the comments like the things y'all learned or the things that y'all didn't like about the video and also maybe give us some tips on what other tools y'all like uh, y'all like to see us use on this channel or what other type of haircuts y'all like us to go over and for those who have been supporting the channel and showing love to the brand thank you thank you so much that that means the world to us and once we're done with that guideline we're going to look for any touch-up work needed for this haircut in particular i felt like i needed to come back with that half clip open to that third quarter and i'm just looking for any inconsistencies in the fade like these little dark spots that you notice here and there and just coming in with that corner of the clipper in a detailed manner just trying to blend them right out then after that we'll just focus on taking out the bottom section of his hair for this i always come in with my trimmers upside down as this does kind of leave more of a balder guideline and then whatever little faint line that it leaves right above it i'll just flip the clipper right back up into its upright position and just blend it right out using the corners of it just so that it just so that we can take it out a little bit more easier and the reason that we're coming with that trimmer upside down first is so that it just leaves that border guideline just to serve as another um, guideline as to how high to come up with our electric shavers and not go up too much into the fade and then after that we'll just proceed with taking out the rest of the bottom hair with our trimmers and you'll see right here um, you'll be able to see that little faint line I was talking about it's kind of light on video but you'll be able to see it and uh, that's going to be our guideline again as to how high to come up with our electric shaver so then all that's left to do is come in with that electric shaver and then just take out or shave out the bottom of his hair and again guys as soon as you reach that little faint line you're just going to pull out with that shaver so that we're not digging in too much into the fade and also guys if you feel that the haircut still has a little bit of bulk on this ridge area it's a good idea to come in with your thinning shears and just uh thin out the hair right there just so that it gives it a softer transition from the side length to the top length of his hair and now to taper down his beard i'm gonna still use that same guideline technique i'm gonna open the lever all the way to set down the first guideline and then i'll throw on the one guard set down the second guideline still with that lever open and then I'll throw on the two guards still with that lever open to set in our last guideline. Then we'll just blend out these three guidelines. The first one we'll take out with that one and a half clip open to that third quarter and start with the bottom most guideline. Then moving to that middle guideline still in that third quarter lever position throwing on the half clip. And then for that last guideline coming in taking it out with the lever closed. And then I open it halfway continue blending down a little bit and then open it all the way to finish taking it out. And then if still needed, I'll come in with the trimmer to finish taking out the last guideline completely. And then we'll just proceed with doing the exact same thing on the opposite side. Now moving forward to the top length, he didn't want so much removed, so I'm just come in and clean it up. And first here, I'll make sure that nothing hangs over to the sides of his fade. So starting from the back, I'll pull out a small section and then shake my fingers out to a square shape or just have them in a 90 degree angle going straight up and just pulling out whatever hair um, that my fingers grab I'll just come in with my scissors and trim it out and just moving forward in small sections or about a finger in length section at a time until we reach the front um, 
just trim it away and then we'll repeat the exact same steps on the opposite side Then I'll just comb everything forward and starting from the back, grabbing a small section, uh, I'll proceed with giving it a light trim. And instead of coming in and trimming it in a horizontal manner, I'm gonna come in in a point cutting manner just so that we cut his hair on top, leaving a more textured finish up top. And as you, and as you see here, I'm just only cutting the tips so that we don't remove too much length that would, from what he already has. And then we'll just move to the right side and the left sides of his head, repeating the exact same process. And then once you're done with that, I'm going to blow dry everything really nice so we can move forward with our lineup work. Before I start the lineup on the front of his head, I will apply a little bit of spritz just so that we can freeze the hair out of place before we come in with our trimmers. I'll leave the, the spritz down in the description so that y'all can feel free and purchase it if y'all like. And before I set in my guideline, I'll try to visualize it first where I want it set in. And then once I kind of have a good feeling of where I want his lineup to be, I'll uh, start by coming in and with the trimmer setting down the first initial start of it down the middle. And then just work my way off to the right and left sides of his head. And on the sides, all we're trying to do is um, make that 90 degree box shape on the corners as sharp as possible. With also without trying to push it too far back. We're trying to keep it as natural as possible, but with it still looking, um, getting it as clean as possible. I'll also come in and detail his facial hair as well, trying to conserve here as much of his beard as possible. So I try to follow his natural lineup shape before we come in with our straight razor and start uh, lining everything up. And like always, before doing any shaving, I'll apply some shaving gel before coming in with a straight razor. And all we're doing now with a straight razor is refining what we already did with our trimmers. So try not to push back on any of your lineup that you already set in with, the, with your trimmers. And I also like to always shave against the grain just to get that much closer to the skin. And it just helps the lineup last a little bit longer as well. And if you pay attention, I'm always tugging with the opposite hand on the skin just so that we create that tension and just help that straight razor glide a little more with ease. And now before setting in the line down under his neck, I'm going to comb up his beard so that we conserve much of the beard length and we don't trim any away before coming in with our straight razor and uh, shaving it out. Then we'll just move forward with shaving the backside and the top of his beard. Again, guys, first I always start with shaving most of the hair off before I come in and start refining the edges as sharp as possible. And now guys, for some blow drying tips, I'll come in, dampen the hair, and then with the high heat blow dryer, I'll uh, blow dry most or like 90% of his hair with, uh, with my hands, as you see here. And as it starts getting dry, you'll see that I start kind of pushing the hair in the direction that I want it to lay. So as the front, I want it to sit up. So I'll start, you know, with the blow dryer, pushing it that way. And then once we hit like about 90, 95% of it being dry, I'll come in with a, a round brush and start helping brush brushing the hair in the direction that I want it to dry. And just remember guys, the way your hair dries is the way it's going to lay for, for the remainder of the day. So it'll just be a lot more easier than just trying to control your hair with product. So blow dry it in the direction that you want it to lay. And then after that, follow up with applying uh, your choice of product being a matte, a matte pomade or even if you want to throw some uh, shine pomade as well on there. And next, optional, if you'd like to apply some enhancements, um, feel free and do so. For me, I like to use half Kiss Express, half water, and a little airbrush, a portable airbrush. And also, I'll leave that down in the description for y'all. And then to finish off, I'll style it with a matte pomade into the direction that I want the hair to finish laying. 
and uh that's pretty much it for this haircut guys so here's a quick before in case y'all forgot and uh here's the after so thank y'all again guys for watching and i hope y'all guys enjoyed this video on a men's skin fade with the light scissor trim up top if y'all please if y'all did like it please give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel so y'all stay up to date with all our videos again guys thank y'all for watching my name is sergio barron and this is faded culture i'll catch you on the next video peace